going to be good. So many women across the country do not know what evidence we see today from another woman. And I say that because you don't know what your conversation is worth. You don't know what your time is worth. You don't know what your skill sets are worth. That's why a lot of people are working over and over and other people. They have no idea what their gifts and talents are worth. You have to understand what you're worth before anybody else can be able to see you. Because if you don't know, you don't know how to project what I call project what you want to attract. That can relate to personal, that can relate to professional, that can relate to romance. You have to project what you want to attract. How many people will say today that you are successful? You know, society basically somebody drive, where they live, how much money they have in the bank, what their title is at work or church. I say success should be based upon the goals and objectives you set and accomplish. But you know what I said? And what I see? The fact that this woman had a dream to help women understand who they were and put it together without any part of that knowledge of how to do it. Brought in a national speaker. That's success. That's what I call, when you look at it, what people are saying, God will adopt a mind over matter mentality. Y'all say mind over matter. You know what that is? You don't mind what people say. Because it doesn't matter. You don't mind what did happen to you yesterday. It doesn't matter to what can you do. One of the things that I try to teach women to do is conduct an autopsy. You have to really find out what happened. What are some of the mistakes you made throughout the relationship prior to it getting to the point? Not necessarily putting the blame on anybody, but if you don't look at the things that happened, you get into it and then you carry them into the next one, which is what I call residue. You take the residue from the previous relationship into the next one. Then you want to allow that one, and then the next one.
then you have to know who's met them. If his objective is to sleep, now it's out of 10. That's the things he's gonna do to move in that person. Why do you hear Why do you ask me that? What's your goal for the Not the ones you have to buy. What do you see yourself with in the next five years? Five years ago, I don't even know that one. Next! You don't have a long-term vision. That tells me you involved in short-term trading. Thank you. 